Welcome to the highlights of the Swift Racing League, WTRL EMEA E2 Division 3 Cat C. For this week's race 6, a whole lot of lava. This marks three races to go until the end of the eight race season two in the WTRL, and the top of this league could not be any closer. It seemed that when the WTRL were planning out season two of the Swift Racing League, as well as promoting a team ethos throughout the ZRL, they really wanted to put some difficult routes together that challenged riders in a variety of ways and each category. And no race, it seemed, was feared as much as this week's three laps of whole lot of lava course, with three climbs of the Volcano KOM. Our team, racing in the bike and beer kit for tonight, are Captain Matt Colley, Leighton Smith, Sadie Mitchell, David Tilsed, Josh Naylor and Pete Watkins. With so much talk on social media about the unnecessary toughness of the race, there was no doubt that 60 nervous riders sat in the pen waiting for an hour or so in the pain cave, with some 25 minutes of that climbing the volcano. But for those of you who read the weekly write-ups will know the Paul Wheeler's Cat C team has gone from strength to strength over the past six weeks, and teamwork is definitely a part of what has put the team at the top of their respective WTRL league. Week 6 was slightly different though, never have we seen a race dominated like this by one team. The pro races had demonstrated that it was critical being at the front of the race heading from downtown Watopia up to the volcano and all 16 members had made the cut. The first split in the group came at around the 1.5k mark, with a large group of around 27 riders pushing the pace up at the front. The team avoided the early gaps and staying sheltered for the first 7.6k before the first ascent came. The Volcano KOM, at an average of 3.2% over 3.8km, isn't the biggest climbs on Swift but as a draftable climb, it's definitely one to stay alert for, especially as the only bonus points come with first across the line and the fastest through segment at the KOM banner. Nick Robinson of Peace Fit used a crafty ghost power-up for the early sprint off the front without anyone noticing, but it would prove to be tough ass going solo and was pulled back by the peloton. The fireworks really came when Ozay for Kennel CC Racing went for the first set of points at the KOM banner, but Leighton Smith was never going to let that happen and chased the Kennel rider down. With a well-timed feather power up at the 11% kicker at the crown of the hill, he took the first across the line points and ultimately the fastest through segment as well. Around two dozen riders survived in the front group as they took the first descent, but impressively, this included all six Paul Wheeler's Cat C riders. Whilst the pace slowed at the base of the volcano, it was soon realised that Ford Ray only had three riders in the front group and East Essex only had one rider there. These are the closest teams to Paul Wheeler's Cat C in the league. It was clear that Paul Wheeler's had already won the team result for the day and now it was down to racing smart and not letting the stage win get away. As the riders approached the second lap climb, the gap to the second group was stretched to 1 minute 10 seconds. A quick look back and saw Sadie dropping off the back slightly, but there was no issue, Sadie had just forgot to spin her legs whilst looking at the companion app. She quickly sprinted back on and rejoined the group. <laughs> Lap 2 was therefore a sedate affair, no real kicks up the climb until Ozain and Merritt went for the first across the line points but coming back to the group for the fast downhill. Right on! 
Lap three, now with only 11 riders in the group, more than half of them from the dominant four wheelers. It was time for the games to start, at least the riders thought. But the four wheelers not needing to push the pace, no one was really wanting to be the pace setter, instead happy to save the power for the sprint finish. That was until Matt Colley lit the flash paper and disappeared up the road. Ten seconds ahead of the group at the summit was going to be a tough ask to hold on to with the closing group drafting down the ascent. But with five other pool wheelers disrupting any chase and the five other riders left in the group, there was still a chance. And what a hero effort it was, only being swallowed up by the fast moving group with about a kilometre to go. Allowing Matt to disappear up the road and making others chase meant there was five sets of good legs left in the bunch and when it kicked up in the last 600 metres it was a red of four wheelers that took the charge. Pete Watkins was the first to strike out followed by Foyle's pace fit who has saved an aero power up for the last 200 metres. It was Ultimate Watts won the day, with Josh Naylor having more than anyone else, leading the Paul Wheeler's clean sweep of the podium, with Leighton Smith and Dave Tilsted coming home second and third respectfully. The team win has confirmed with Pete Watkins crossing the line in fifth and Sadie with her best ZRL points race finish in ninth and Matt Colley holding on for 11th. Such was the dominance this week, Paul Wheeler scoring 290 points for the six riders in the top 11 and their first across the line and fastest through segment points, which is more than their two closest rivals combined. Is next week another chance for the Red Paul Wheelers train to take charge as we head to Richmond for the Libby Hill after party? A mainly flat course with a kicker at the end could be interesting.